What it do, YouTube? It is KPFPS here, coming back at you with the Boston E League 2018 major pick 'em predictions for the group stage. Let's get right into it. So, just a recap of the prelim stage. Um, we actually ended up doing all right. We got five points. Uh, our wild card picks, Misfits and Sprout, unfortunately did not make it. Phase Clan did make it out of groups, but they did not go 3 0. They went 3 1 due to Vega Squadron. Those goddamn sharks and Moses parted the river for them. Uh, just, just a big meme, guys. Like honestly, phase. Oof, that's a hard oof. Uh, anyways, Quantum Bellator Fire also did not go 0 and 3. They went 3 and 2 because the Swiss system is so good. Um, pretty bullshit. Uh, but again, I'm not too like concerned about it because this part of the pick'em prediction was only one point each. So we got five points. They're basically bonus points. Um, I think five and anything above five is good for this part of the stage. Anyways, let's get right into the group stage. All right, so it's basically the same style of picks. You have to pick all of them in the next three days, or else you will not be able to participate in this part of the pick 'em prediction challenge. So, just like last time, one team 3 0, one team 0 3, and seven teams that will advance from the group stage. Now, before I pick the team that's going to go 3-0, I actually figured out that the 3-0 and the 0-3 category are super unpredictable. And honestly, you're better just throwing a fuck shit team in there and just praying. Because, for example, in the prelims, I could have put FaZe in this one of the seven teams that will advance out of the group stage. And I would have gotten another point for that instead of 3-0, because FaZe still made it out of groups, but they didn't go 3-0, so I lost points there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick all my seven teams that are going to advance out of the group stage first, then I'll pick the 3-0, then I'll pick the 0-3. So getting right into it, for my first team that will advance out of the group stage and into the top eight of the major, da 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 SK. I mean, guys, this one's pretty simple. Um, <clears throat> they don't have Bolts, they still have Phelps. Um, I do not see SK going out. There's literally not a world in another dimension where SK doesn't make it out of groups. I think that one, I don't even need to explain it. They're just, it's SK, boys. The second team that will advance out of the group stage and into the top eight of the major, I'm going to go with FaZe Clan. Uh, I think, again, that's pretty obvious. We have the number one and the number two team in the world. That's really safe bets that they will make it out of the group stage. Third team that will make it out of the group stage, I'm going to go with Gambit. Um, now, Gambit, they don't have Zeus. They did win the last major with Zeus. But I feel like LAN, Major, Gambit, they turn up. They're a wild card. Um, they still have four really solid players. And honestly, if you think about what Zeus did on the team, he did a lot of the calling and the IGL stuff. Uh, I'm sure they haven't forgotten that. I'm sure they still use some of Zeus's strats he implemented. It's just someone else calling it. So it's really not that big of a change. And they picked up Fitch, and he's doing pretty good. So I still think Gambit is a really solid choice to make it out of the groups. The fourth team that I'm picking to go out of the group stage is going to be Astralis. Um, Device is coming off a stomach injury. But they moved Device to a Rifler, and Dupree is now the main opper. That is something that I think they should have done a long time ago. Honestly, Device, towards the end of 2017, was not super stellar with the op. He kind of, like, lost his touch. He was really good towards the, you know, when they won the Major in 2017, the last E-League Major. But then he kind of dropped off, man. Like, I've never really considered him a main opper. And Dupree, when he's picked it up, he's been lights out. So I still think even with Device's injury and him maybe not performing well, that they will be able to make it out of the group stage. I mean, at maximum, they'll go 3-2, but they should still make it out. The fifth team I'm choosing to make it out of the group stage is going to be Cloud9. Now, this might be kind of iffy for some people. You know, they are North American, blah, 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 stereotype, ah, NACS. But... Cloud9 has been looking dominant as fuck this tournament. All of them are firing. Skadoodle's insane. Tarek, highest rating LAN. Uh, Stewie, Tim, fucking automatic. They're all looking nuts, okay? 
I think this is Cloud9, like they're going to be the dark horse of this tournament. I don't see them necessarily like winning it or making semifinals, but they should be making it out of the group stage, especially since how they performed in the prelims. I know the prelims were uh, kind of weaker teams, but they have a really good upset first round matchup. They are placed against G2, and I think a lot of people are underestimating Cloud9 because G2 showed a lot of weaknesses in the prelims. They gave up 13 rounds to Flash. They went overtime against Vega Squadron. And that's not taking anything away from those teams. Just I don't think G2 is the quote-unquote super team that everyone thinks they are. So I think Cloud9 should easily go 1-0 at least at the start. And then all they have to do is pick up two more wins. Um, that's why I'm going with Cloud9. They're just like when a team is on fire, it's really hard to stop them. And Cloud9 is absolutely flames right now. The sixth team I'm choosing to make it out of the group stage is going to be Fnatic. Uh, I'm choosing Fnatic because I think if it came head-to-head -head against a lot of the other teams, such as G2 and Maus, that people could pick to make it out of the group stage, I think Fnatic just is the more experienced team. Uh, they know how to deal with that pressure, and they know how to kind of like pull out the clutches. Uh, also, just historically, Fnatic, I don't think in the last eight or nine majors, has ever been outside of the top eight once. They've always made the playoffs at majors. It doesn't matter if that's all they did, if they didn't make semis or finals. They've always made the playoffs. So if they have a 100% playoff like appearance rate, I mean, that's pretty hard to bet against. Um, I know they have Golden and Lecro now on the team, but they still have the main three core. So I feel like, I mean, they're a wild card, but they're also not because they always come in at the majors. They always make playoffs. Uh, I think a lot of people are underestimating. They're kind of forgetting about Fnatic because of how hyped the new teams are. But I think Fnatic is just super rock solid. Um, like any team that gets matched against them in 2-2 or a 1-2 like elimination match is going to have a hard time. So that's why I'm going with Fnatic. Again, it may be a little off pick to what you guys were expecting but that's my reasoning behind it the seventh and final team that i'm going to be picking to advance out of the group stage this might trigger some people it is big um yeah i mean if you're giving me the cross-eyed look or some sly eyebrows i get it but i'm going with big right now because i mean god b is a fucking mastermind and they got tabs in who's insanely nutty um, I know they made it out of groups last time on one map, and they were using a bug, but overall, Big is a much coordinated and stable team than Navi or Maus or Space Soldiers or any other team you could pick right now. Okay, even Virtus Pro, dude. Virtus Pro, they could be gods or bots. I mean, Maus, they depend on individual plays to win games. Navi, Navi has some really bad internal problems right now, and I don't think they're going to be able to carry their way out of the group stage big we haven't seen anything from big in about a month they've been boot camping they've been prepping they've been grinding for this major and i think they're going to show up and based off what i saw in the prelim stage honestly a lot of the games in the prelim stage did not look like high tier cs they looked like you know something you'd see in esca main or like even silvers dude like quantum bellator fire and avant-garde when they played it looked like a silver match, dude. I think Big is just a much better team in all aspects. They have fraggers, they have a good IGL, they have good supports. They're a much more well-rounded team, and usually well-rounded teams can outlast the quote-unquote super teams. Moving on, we got the team that will go 0-3 and the team that will go 3-0. Um, I'm going to start with the team that's going to go 0-3. Uh, I feel like this pick might also surprise some people. But I'm going with Liquid. Why am I going with Liquid? Well, A, they're playing with a coach. B, half their players tweeted out saying that they surpassed all their goals by even making it this far. And C, if their goal was to make it to the top 16, then what is their motivation to play now? I just feel like Liquid, the only matchup they could win is against Quantum Bellator Fire. And even then, dude, I think. It's been a it's gonna be a week since they've played. Nitro won't be able to hard carry. I honestly think Liquid's done, dude. 
like they made it to the top 16 they are automatically in the next major uh you know that's what they came here to accomplish they did it they're done there's nothing else to play for they might win a map they might not i think it is a better bet than quantum bellator fire because these russian teams man they upset in best of ones liquid i don't know i don't know i feel like liquid is a better choice for me because i don't want to put quantum bellator fire again i just think putting the same team twice to go 0 and 3 when they've already proved me wrong isn't gonna work out that's why i'm going with liquid into my pick i am picking the one the only virtus pro uh <laughs> yeah might be shocking to some of you um you know honestly i didn't think i was gonna do it either but again i don't buy the super team bullshit from g2 i don't think navi's strong enough i'm a huge virtus pro fanboy now the thing is, I want to put Virtus Pro to make it out of the group stage, but I think that these teams have a higher chance of just making it out than going 3-0. I think Virtus Pro, if they get rolling, you know, steaming, fucking the plow train, they could go 3-0. They have a really good first matchup against Quantum Bellator Fire. So that that's why I'm going with them. I mean, again. These combined are worth more points than this one is. So this is my wild card. That's why I'm picking it. Anyways, guys, that is it for my E-League 2018 Boston Major Group Stage predictions. Let me know down in the comments below where you guys ended up at your total points from the prelim stage. We ended up at 5 if you followed my picks. If you didn't, maybe you had 6, maybe 7. I doubt there's any 8s down there, but let me know. I'd really like to hear... If you have any feedback regarding my picks, if you agree, if you disagree, uh, let me know down in the comments below if you think I should change anything or if you think I should stick with it. Um, also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It would really, really help me out. I got a lot of content coming soon based off the major, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Peace!